Hi there, and welcome to Shavings and Cravings. It's been quite a while since my last video upload, and I apologize for that. 2021 has been quite the year. Good. Mostly bad. Uh, for me, my family, some of my friends. Uh, but we're going to make the most out of it, and what better place to start than doing a new video? So I'm going to take this opportunity and, first of all, thank all of my subscribers for sticking in there with me while I haven't done anything. And uh, we're going to start something cool. So I'm going to shamelessly steal an idea from Instagram, from a place called The Barrel Reclaim, to make a coaster and cigar rest out of a barrel stave uh, from a Chattanooga whiskey barrel that I have for another project. Something like this. My brother works for Topps Knives up in Idaho Falls, and they make some of the best uh, bushcraft, survival, and military knives that you can get. So if you're in the market, you should go check them out. They also run a really fun podcast uh, where they talk about pretty much anything. Not family-friendly so much, but they'll talk about knives, make fun of my brother, talk about general happenings in the world, make fun of my brother. You know, so I'm a fan. Figured I'd do something nice for them. Um, they're a great group of folks and a great group of guys and friends. So figured I'd make them a set of coasters for their podcast room, and uh, hopefully they'll get some use out of it, and hopefully they enjoy it. All right, with that, we'll go through the process. I'm not going to go in-depth. It's more going to be a kind of overview of the process of it. It was an excuse to use my CNC for the first time for a real project and um, get a little practice in it and make something cool. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you do, go ahead and throw a like down below and hit subscribe if you would. It would be great. Thanks, and uh, enjoy the show. Started off by taking the barrel staves over to the miter saw and cutting them down to, I think, about 12 and a half inches. Had to use a little block of wood to support because it curves so much. And then I moved over to the joiner to take it down and to flatten that bottom edge off. Uh, the bottom of this chick, the staves are charred from the whiskey making process. So it was nice to get it down to a little bit of clean wood as well. Um, here's another view going at the final pass through the joiner. Just a 64th I think I was taking off there. And you can see there's still a little bit of char left on the bottom, but not much. Some had more than others. And it made it into a nice flat surface. Um, that one you can see has a little bit more char. And so I'm taking a wire brush to it just to get a little bit more of it off. Moved to an orbital sander and just taking off most of the roughness on the outside, but I'm not looking for pretty, just a little bit less splinters. Quick stop in the fridge to grab a Tapo Chico to stay hydrated. Uh, we're going to move into the workshop and work on the laptop. I'm going to use Carbide Create and Carbide Motion to do the computer work for the CNC. Uh, just created a couple simple tool paths, a pocketing one and a V-carve to cut out the coaster part and then the engraving. Um, here I am just turning on the CNC and getting everything initialized. Uh, built this enclosure for it last year and haven't really tried it out yet. Still got to do a few more things to make it perfect, but it's pretty cool. Just opening the laptop, you can see that I already have the design done. Uh, clamped it down with some Rockler clamps and a fancy pants uh, woodpecker square because that's what I had. Uh, didn't get the tool path anywhere near it so I didn't put a chunk in that beautiful aluminum. But just gonna go ahead and zero everything out and start the tool path. Um, my speeds and feeds were probably a little slow but I didn't know how hard the oak was going to be. Um, this pocketing tool path took about 35 minutes or so to do. Uh, so a little bit long but just sat there and watched it and made sure nothing went horribly awry. After that was done, I switched out for a 60 degree uh, V-carve bit and it ran through without any issue, putting the Topps Daily Grind logo in there. Um, again, Topps Daily Grind is the podcast that my brother and his co-workers do. Um, I think pretty much about every week or so. You can find it on Spotify and wherever else you can find your podcasts. After those two operations were complete, I went ahead and unclamped it, pulled it out of the CNC, and grabbed a little wire brush. The V-carve bit seemed to leave a little bit of a rough edge around the logo. You can see there, 
little fuzzies around the words, not so much the circles, but a little scrubber action there with a brush, and it pulled off most of them, but it still looked a little bit to be desired. So what can I do? What can I do? Proper application of fire. So grabbed a blowtorch and just torched off all the little bits and it just made that logo pop. I gotta say, heating up the wood like this smells amazing. There's still the bourbon that's soaked into the wood and if I can ever figure out how to make an air freshener with how good that smells, I would be a millionaire. So I'm gonna work on that. But just torched around the entire inside to give it a little bit of a nice look to it and look at that logo great popped it back in the cnc to do a simple little pocketing thing with a cove bit um, that's cutting the slot for the cigar again my speeds and feeds are probably a little wrong i see a little burning on the edges but it turned out all right uh, next moved over to the barrel uh, band portion. I used a porta band to just cut them off into little chunks and a file to clean up the edges and a grinder and just got them all to the right size. Took a sander to it just to get a little bit more of a clean edge on everything and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the blowtorch again to give it a nice color. Um, turned out pretty well in my opinion kind of torched them all just to bring out some of the highlights of the wood and then put on a little bit of wipe on poly. I uh, did I think two coats in there and I actually ended up taking a little paintbrush into the logo because it was a little hard to get with a cloth. Uh, Pre-drilled the holes in the barrel bands and punched the holes where they go and then I just used a few little um, wood screws from Home Depot that I spray painted black to screw those in. And that's about it for that. Nothing left to do but to take a couple glamour shots of it in action. Um, using Topps 208 Clipper, that's a cigar cutter with a knife and a bottle opener, and a little Chattanooga whiskey. Uh, this is a fun little project, and I hope the guys enjoy it. And I will check you next time on Shavings and Cravings.